and welcome to this evening's game between the Lynn Tech Tigers and the Greater Lawrence Reggies. I'm Nubra Tober, and you're back shown here today. I'm fired up. NBC's fired up. CBS is fired up. Everyone's here fired up. The world is here to see both these teams go at it. I'll tell you what, I was a little worried that this game would not happen, but the weather um, and the rain has stopped. The, the clouds have cleared up, so we're ready to rock and roll. Lynn Tech is in dark blue, and the Reggies are in white. And right off the bat, a little physical play right there. Um, but Tigers, listen, the fact of the matter is this. They got to go at least 4-1 to make the to make the playoffs. So these games are very important. So the Tigers are led by Captain Helen Poijoy. So uh, the Tigers, this is their time to shine. And I think they're up for the challenge. Once again, Newbury at Toby in action here at Manning Field. Lynn Tech versus the Greta Lawrence Reggies. Both excellent uh, vocational schools. Tech coached by head coach Justin Barrasso has done a great job with the program. And uh, Aaron Carly, who has the JV team, excellent job as well. Ended up being a really good day. It was pouring all day today, so I'm curious to see how the drainage system losing this field is really well. So, but nonetheless, um, it rained pretty hard throughout the day, especially during the afternoon, but uh, it cleared up. And see how Tech's going to adjust here. The field might be a little wet, but the field, for the most part, dries up pretty well. Nice ball right there. Good hustle by the Tigers. Helen gets out of the zone. It's going to be a throw in for the Reggies. In the Tiger zone, kicks out of bounds. It's going to be another throw in. Tigers looking on a counter attack over here. Got to push the ball forward, got to go forward. Exciting times if you're a soccer fan. The World Cup is nearing. In about a month or so, the all eyes will be on Qatar for the World Cup. I'm sure I'll uh, seek in a few soccer games during class. Hopefully no one's going to we're not gonna get in trouble over that. Seeking a few soccer games in the background. Never hurt nobody. So it should be an exciting time. Free kick, strong kick. So excited, we're going to give out a couple of trivia questions. I know everyone's all fired up for that.
Nice pass right there. Great job by the Tigers of getting out the zone. Both teams are like a, kind of like a heavyweight battle over here just trying to fill each other out. First couple of minutes. Again, 240-minute halves here. We're at the 35-minute mark in the first half, all tied at zero. So the World Cup starts for all you soccer fans and just fans in general of great sports. World Cup actually officially starts November 20th. That is going to be fun. And we all know the World Cup in 2026. Nice strong kick. Have an opportunity here for a cross. Chases it down. Still in the zone. Tigers looking to attack. Oh, what a pass. Shot. Confidence. Tigers strike first. What a play. What a game. What a year. What a goal right there. Newbie Research team right on it. Sharon Vasquez puts it in. Tigers, big game, like I said before. I was talking to head coach Gustin Barrasso. Tigers need to go at least 4-1 and one over here to get a shot during the postseason. And Tigers looking for more. So go at the 33-minute mark, one to nothing. Tigers up. Great passing right there in the zone. Just great team. Great team soccer. Very unselfish. I'll tell you what, speaking of sports, there's an argument to be had. And I'm willing to have the argument. What is the best sports month? And it's always either October or April. And, um,. I'd actually think the best sports month this this year is going to be different because of the dangerous play right there. Because of the World Cup, I would I would say November is going to be the best sports month because you're going to have the World Cup, you'll have hockey, you have basketball season going on, football. And the World Series will probably be over. The World Series will be over by then, but you want, you want to talk about just in general, April, you got all four sports going on, all four major sports going on. But, you know, in November, you got the World Cup. And then you got April, you got the, the, you got the NFL draft, you have uh, NBA playoffs, NHL playoffs, baseball is just getting started. And there's usually a big little boxing match around that time, too. So April and October are known as typically one of the best sports months um, of the calendar year. But I'd say October bleeding into November is going to be a fun couple months um, for if you're a sports fan. But you got to, you, you know, if you're a basketball fan, March is always a fun month because of uh, March Madness in, in high, school, high school playoffs. Out towards midfield. Wow, Chase, I do want to shout out some of the seniors. It's actually senior night. Uh, we have double action going on. Uh, as we speak, senior night over at uh, the field house at Lynn Tech for the volleyball team. So shout out to the seniors. Senior night for uh, the girls' soccer team will be next week. And senior night for the cheerleaders and football team was last week, last this past weekend.
great speed right there. Great job by number two. That was Helen just kicking the ball out of bounds. It's going to be a corner. Is it a corner kick? A throw in. Check that. Turned out to be a beautiful day. I was really concerned. I mean, uh, you know, if, if you're a if you're into scenery, I mean, you know, you got the fall leaves out, you know, sunset coming down. It's really a scenic view here at Manning Field. One of the best views in the city right here. 30 minutes left in the first half. Tigers up one to nothing. So we got New Bretto bringing action here today. Shout out to the Dream Team, doing an amazing job. Uh, Hector and Brian. I mean, what a duo. I mean, we have Kobe and Shaq. We have Magic and Kareem. You know, we have Batman and Superman. And then there's Brian and Hector. I mean, right up there, at least top five duo of all time. Minimum. Top five. Argue top three. Could possibly make that argument. So first trivia question, I know everyone's all fired up for this, is as follows. What is a soccer field called? Is it called a pitch, a paddle, I'm sorry, a paddock, a box, or a court? What is a soccer field called? A pitch, paddock, box, or court? Great defense right there by Helen. Coach Bross is all fired up here. I can hear him from the press box. Out towards midfield. Oh, what a move right there. Get 
it looks like the Reds have settled down here defensively, but a little too late as they gave up that first goal at the 34-minute mark. But still playing in time to make it a game, obviously, and still playing time for Tigers to uh, continue to, to pad on to this lead. Substitution as uh, number seven, Sharon, takes a seat. Sharon Vasquez. So the answer to the trivia question is, what is a soccer field called? Is it called a court, a box, a paddock, or a pitch? It's actually called a pitch. The game is played on a rectangular field called a pitch with the goal at each end. And if you don't know, and now you know. Tigers right here. Just got to work a little bit more on the spacing. Have, you know, they're being aggressive. They're an the aggressive team right now, but a little, little kind of a log jam in the, in the middle of the field. Nice, strong kick to get out the zone. Out towards midfield. Both teams right now just kind of filling each other out. Tigers up one to nothing, but both teams have kind of settled down here and to a you know nice defensive rhythm. Opportunity right here. It's going to be a free kick, looks like. Free kick here for the Tigers in prime position. Shot. And clears it. Good job by the Reggies. Take him right back. Shot. Hits the crossbar. Nice, strong kick, but couldn't finish. Good effort, though.
So our next trivia question is how long is an international soccer match? Again, how long is an international soccer match? Is it 45 minutes, 90 minutes, 120, or 60? We're going to reveal about the 10-minute mark. 20 minutes left here in the first half. One to nothing, Tigers up. Here at Manning Field, again, Tech Tigers are in blue and Reddies are in white. Kicks it out of the zone to nobody. Here's Helen. And Tiger's kind of running in circles here, literally. Gonna be a goal kick here. So exciting time again to the sports season. The Celtics start tomorrow, and that's gonna be exciting. Great passing right there. Oh, amazing passing. Back and forth. Shot. Wide right. I'll tell you what. That was good fundamental soccer right there. You want to look up fundamental soccer in, in, in the dictionary, you'll see that play. That was excellent soccer. Little collision there, no foul called. Straight on shot. Have an opportunity. Tripped up, no call. Looking for the cross. Tigers in trouble. Almost friendly fire right there. Good job by the Tigers clearing it out. And here they come on a counterattack. Ready to take it right back. They push it, they got something here. If they push it, they got something here. If they push it, they got something here. If they cross it. Couldn't get the cross. I was so excited my microphone dropped. Corner kick right here. Golden opportunity for the Tigers. And I don't think that's how they drew it up. Goes out of bounds. It could be a throw in. Coming up on 15 minutes left in the first half. One to nothing. Tigers up. Shot. Oh, what a save by the keeper.
Another corner kick. Third corner kick of the day. And again, just Reddy's doing a great job clearing the zone. Oh, wow. They're flying right here. Soaring like an eagle. Look at her go. Shot wide right. A little too much muscle on that one. Oh, boy. What speed. What agility. Work, work ethic. That was fun to watch. Tell you what, both teams are playing their hearts out right now. I mean, what speed. I mean, I'll tell you what, she flew down there and just beat out all the Tigers. Wow. Can't quite get her name or number from here. Well, uh, I'll get it for you in a second. We got number seven for the Reggies. I want to say that was Leticia. brother just off the mark it's been a good game it's been fun Barrasso's coaching right now all fired up so the answer to the trivia question how long is the international soccer match is it 45 minutes 90 minutes 120 minutes or 60 minutes ladies and gentlemen the answer is 45 minutes I'm sorry the answer is 90 minutes, two 45-minute halves. Daylight same is coming up pretty soon in two weeks, so... Uh, it's going to be one of those, you know, wake up in the dark, come home in the dark. But the bright side of things is, you know, it's uh, it, it means it's, it's the time for the holiday season. Time for, uh, you know, all the, all the cool holidays coming up, Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, New Year's, etc. Um, you know, obviously Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and, you know, uh, whatever you celebrate. It's a good time of the year. Speaking of Christmas, I do want to give a um, shout to Skills USA. He's doing a toy drive and collecting uh, Christmas gifts. They're going to have a Christmas party on December 11th, but they're collecting toys. And in the meantime, um, if you walk into Lynn Tech, you'll see a huge, uh, a huge sled made by our carpentry team and the great people over there, uh, led by. Um, Mr. Sheridan and Mr. Um, Bordeaux does a great job and great kids. So if they're taking donations, and you can leave the donation right at the lobby at Lynn Tech. So, um, and it's going right back to Lynn Kids. It's going right back to, you know, uh, not that the other organizations are collecting toys and not doing great work. They are, but, you know, it's good to know that the toys are going right back to our community, which is cool. So shout out to Skills USA and the – Great people over there and Jason McCush and company.
Oh, what a crossover right there. Another one. Wheeling, dealing, shot. Tigers with the rebound. That's coming offside. Too good to be true. Offsides right there. Good call by the ref. So next question, our last trivia question of the first half, what is considered a hat trick in soccer? How many goals is considered a hat trick in soccer? We'll answer that right before the half ends. So timeout called here by Coach Bross. So we'll take a timeout too. We'll be back. And welcome back here after a timeout. Score one to nothing. Tigers up here. Just about six minutes left in the first half. Out to his midfield. Great hustle right there by number three for the Tigers. That's like Kaylee. What a collision right there, no call. 
And they're letting them play a little bit. And a little slow to get up. Strong kick right there by Helen. Tigers an opportunity right here. Great hustle. We're going to have a corner kick. We're going to have another corner kick. Shot. Up in the air. And goes out of bounds. Last touch on the Tigers. Three and change left in the first half. One to nothing. Tigers scored the 34 minute mark. Since then, both teams have been scoreless. Lights are on. Sun's completely set. About the midfield. Oh, what a crossover. Oh, what another crossover. Had him on skates. Tigers threatening. They're threatening big time. Had an open net for a half a second. Helter Skelter. Craziness going on right now. Official time will be kept on the field at two minutes. So he answered that trivia question, what is considered a hat trick in soccer? Three goals. Same as in hockey, three goals is considered a hat trick. So official time kept on the kept on the field here. Again, Tech Tigers are in blue and Greater Lawrence is in white. One to nothing here. First half. I'm New Bratto bring you all the action. Tigers want to get one more goal here before the half ends. Have a shot right here. Shot! Just off the mark.
So it'll be another corner kick for the Tigers right here. Might be the last opportunity to score here before this half ends. One to nothing. Corner kick. Up high. Shot! Wide right. And I'll do it for the first half right there. Score one to nothing. Tigers up. One to nothing here at the half at the midway point. Tigers going to locker momentum. We'll see you in the second half. And welcome back to the second half. We're here at Manning Field between the Tech Tigers and the Greater Lawrence Reggies. I'm Duberetto, bringing you all the action here today. Beautiful day. Started off a little rainy, but cleared up to a nice, gorgeous day for soccer. Tigers, uh, we're off the bat, started off with a goal in the first six minutes at the 34-minute mark with the goal. And since then, it's been uh, a tight game, and no one scored since. But Tigers have the lead right now, one to nothing. Ball goes out of bounds here. Both teams just kind of hover around midfield. They're going to throw it in right, right around the 40. It's going to be Tigers' ball. What a move right there. Takes a spill, no call. The referees are letting them play. They've been letting them play this game.
and we're back here. Sorry, a little technical issue. We're back. Score one to nothing still. 35 minutes left. Gonna be a goal kick right here. Again, Tigers up one to nothing. Score the 34 minute mark. Tigers threatening. You know, they've had some opportunities here. And, and the tough thing about it, they've had about Three or four corner kicks and haven't converted. Let's just hope that doesn't come back to bite them, you know, at the end of the game or, you know, some opportunities that they had. Oh, what a move right there. Takes a spill, though. Tackled at the 20. No call. I mean, you can't just tackle somebody. That's called the other football. Now I'm fired up. Up next will be Lynn Classical in St. Mary's playing. So that's awesome. And uh, everyone's fired up for that one. We got injury timeout. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back. So check that. Um, Lynn Classical's not playing. It's actually St. Mary's playing next. We had the great Lynn Classical crew here doing the game, which is awesome. So breaking news, St. Mary's is facing Fenwick, according to the newbie research team. Always on top of things. Always on top of things over here. Tell you what, it's on the best. When news breaks, we break it. Both teams seem a little frazzled here the last, i say, eight minutes or so. Uh, Tigers, again, nonetheless, still up one to nothing. So our next trivia question is as follows. This is interesting. What is the most common score where the game ends in a draw? I'm going to repeat that. What is the most common score when a game ends in a draw? We'll reveal that answer at the 25-minute mark. And we got a goal here by the Tigers. Two to nothing right there. Tigers put an insurance goal on. I believe that goal is by number two, Helen. Just kind of stuck up on everybody. I was too busy reading my trivia question. I wasn't paying attention to the game. And they scored the they scored again. Let's go, Tigers. Two to nothing. Here we go. Pump up the volume. And we have an injury here. And it looks like she'll be okay. She'll just walk it off. So Tigers pick up an insurance goal. Two to nothing here. A pick up a goal here at the 32 minute mark in the second half. Let's 
What's going on over here? The referee's getting a little whistle happy. I'm hearing a lot of whistles and no movement. I don't know what's going on. Helen is on fire. She wants more. Uh, midfield. Another opportunity right here. One on one. Here we go. Helen and the keeper. Shot. Save by the keeper. And what a collision. We got four down. One, two, three, four down. Tackle up to 15. Oh. Like a bowling ball right there, knocking over those pins. Everybody went down. Corner kick, another opportunity for the Tigers. This is fun. This is a fun game. Shot. And saved by the keeper right there. Helen battling again. Speeding through with those defenders. Looking for a cross shot! Just off the crossbar! Oh, what a play! What a move! I thought that was going to be a cross, but she had the power. And I'll tell you what, that would have been a goal of the year. I would have lost one. I would have left the building. I swear to God, I would have left. Just off the mark, top of the crossbar. Tell you what, a lot of highlights in this game. So, trivia question. What is the most common score where the game ends in a draw? The answer is one to one. Hey, don't kill the messenger. That's the answer. According to the newbie research team. So this is an interesting one, and I didn't know the answer to this one, which I'm very excited to announce. Where did the word soccer come from? 
where did the word soccer come from? Because in most uh, countries, uh, it's not a football. But it's obviously called soccer here in America. Where did the word soccer come from? We'll be that into the 20 minute mark. The story's developing hot. Dot, dot, dot. A nice little crowd here. Good energy. 25 minutes left, two to nothing. Tigers up against the Greater Lawrence Reggies. Tigers are in blue and Reggies are in white. I'm New Barretto bringing all the action. Here at the Dream Team over here, Brian and Hector. Confidence. What a save. What a game. What a league. What a sport. It's been such a physical game. A lot, a lot of players are trying to go down here. I think it might just be exhaustion, just being tired. So we got an injury here. We'll take a timeout. So we're back here. Twenty-four minutes left in the game. Tigers up by two, and they're looking for more. Tigers looking to push it here. I'll tell you what, the speed is incredible. I mean, Helen was just, you know, just really incredible at the speed. Looking for the cross right there. Couldn't find anybody, but just running circles around her opponents. So the trivia question is as followed. Where did the word soccer come from? Obviously, we know that football is a name for the most part everyone uses outside the United States. The United States, you know, we have American football. Um, but where did the word soccer come from? It's actually an abbreviation. It's an abbreviation for the term association football. I still don't know where the soccer comes from there, honestly. But it's that's where it came from, according to the newbie research team. And the newbie research team is never wrong. So this will be our last trivia question of the day. And we'll reveal it after this corner kick. In trouble. Have an opportunity. Oh, great save right there. 
Give me another corner kick. Corner kick! Tigers threatening. Threatening big time! But Reggie's taken back out and cleared out the zone. Joy. Looking for a cross. Saved by the keeper. 20 minutes left. So the trivia question I repeat is how long the trivia question, next trivia question is as follows. How long is extra time in soccer? How long is extra time in soccer? We're going to reveal that at the 10-minute mark. So let's stay tuned for that one. And we're back here. 20 minutes left in the game. Tigers up 2-0. It looks like Tigers, like I said before, before... Uh, this game, the Tigers would need to go 4-1 and one to have a chance to make the playoffs. So, you know, uh, I think they're up for the challenge. And if they keep the score up right here, I mean, that's one less game they have to worry about. Very excited that um, we have some pretty cool events at Lim Tech this year. Uh, Skills USA is going to put on some really cool events. They're going to put on a uh, couple expos. But really excited um, that the media expo is coming back for the second annual media expo. It's going to be bigger and better than last year. Very excited. We're going to have uh, some pretty cool guest speakers. We'll make those announcements soon. Should be fun. So another golden opportunity here. 17 minutes left. Tigers will have another corner kick. Goes out of bounds. And uh, St. Mary's is playing next year. This is really exciting. So 
the Tigers right now look like they're just trying to uh, make sure they're you know playing good defense playing good defensively and limit scores uh, on the on for Lawrence. As I say that, they're threatening. And that should be an offside call! Saved by the keeper, though! Should have been an offside! How'd they miss that call? And they clear it! Now I'm fired up again! How did they miss that offside call? Oh, brother. Easy, Tiger. Easy, Tiger. I save right there by the keeper. I guess have numbers right now. They push it. Dangerous territory right here. Reggie's. If you don't know, Reggie's are short for regional, as it's a regional school. Twelve minutes left in the game. Tigers up two to nothing here. Looks like they will be victorious.
Another corner kick. Another opportunity. And can't convert. Substitutions here. So, here's the trivia question. I forgot the trivia question. The trivia question was, how long is extra time in soccer? I already said that? Yes, okay, all right. How long, and we'll really answer after this play right here. Looking for a cross. The Tigers do a good job clearing it. So how long is extra time in soccer? 30 minutes. 30 minutes, two 15-minute halves. So that's a little nougat of information. Crockett, we're going to rowdy here. Here in Manning Field, we're going to rowdy here. I don't know what's going on. Probably cheering for our camera crew. They got a little uh, fan club over here. Brian and Hector. It's probably the Brian Hector fan club. Nice strong kick. Ball at midfield here. Tell you what, what do you think overall the um Greater Lawrence Veggies played an excellent game. Good effort. Just uh, Tigers are just a better team right now. And the more desperate team. You know, I think the you know, Tigers are really playing for something here. Get uh, Tigers coached by Justin Barroso, just coaching his heart out today. Again, the JV team coached by uh, the great Aaron Carley. Goes over the net.
We have a lot of celebrities amongst us in the press box here. I'm getting nervous. St. Mary's in the house, all ready to rock and roll, get all fired up. We have the Lynn Classical TV Dream Team here. Lynn Classical TV Dream Team. Lynn Tech Classical, the, the, the Lynn Tech Dream Team, Classical Dream Team. TV history. TV history right here. Five minutes left. Okay, shout out to Brian and Hector, doing an amazing job. So, five minutes unofficially left on the field. Tigers look like they will uh, they will come out victorious. Shot open net, wide right. Oh, brother! Open net, eyes became wide open. Goalie dodged a bullet on that one. So just under five minutes left unofficially, Tigers look like they will be victorious in this game. Helen and Sharon, I believe, with the two goals. But just a great team effort.
Can't be more than a minute left in the game in stoppage time. And we're here at Manning Field, Lynn Tech Tigers versus the Greater Lawrence Reggies. Throw in here and uh, another throw in right here for the Tigers. Well, that'll do it right there. Tigers, I like to say in dominating fashion, take this game. I think Tigers dominated the game defensively. So the score two to nothing. Tigers uh, win this game versus Greta Lawrence. Both teams played hard, but Tigers are a better team today. And that is your final score. Tigers two, Greta Lawrence zero. I'm here at Manning Field. I'm Luby Ratcho. I don't want to talk anymore. And you don't want to hear me no more. Goodbye. Godspeed. Whatever that means.